I'm a cow. Just kidding. <laughs> and today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video. I'm going to be doing an April favorites video. I know that this video is kind of late since it's already like May. Today is May 6th, but sorry it's a little bit late, but I hope you guys enjoy anyway and let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, so my first favorite may or may not be an iPhone case. It's kind of a problem on how many iPhone cases I have, but I'm glad I got this one because I have kept this on for over a month, which is kind of, which is a long time for me to keep on a case because normally I change mine up regularly. But this was a really inexpensive case. It was only about $2 or something like that, somewhere in between there. And I thought it was super my style, so I had to, I resorted and I got it. And it just says like, it's a vintage camera and it says G4 and it has the um, brand, I don't know what that says, Leica, I don't know. And then it has the flash. And I thought, it's so adorable, and it has the camera lens, and I thought, if you didn't know, I love taking pictures, and I love photography, and all that. So, I kind of had to get this case, and it was from one of those novelty souvenir stores, so I don't know if you can get a case similar to this. Sorry, I'm really out of breath, because I'm talking extremely fast. Um, the next favorite is another iPhone case, ex or iPhone accessory, so, oops, but it's just this little Panda iPhone um, holder or it's actually any phone, it fits any phone. It looks really small, but it fits just perfectly. It has like a lot of space, it's really big. So yeah, and it just says Smart Pocket on it, I don't even know. Um, but the reason I got this was just, it was only a dollar fifty. Yeah, it was a dollar fifty because I got it from the Japanese Dollar Tree, which is called Daiso, if you didn't know what that was. So that is my last iPhone favorite. And now I'm going to move on to fashion because we all know how much I love my fashion. So the first thing is this plaid flannel. I don't know if I showed it in my collective haul, but I got it sometime in March, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, maybe the middle of March or something like that. And it's a really nicely made and really good quality flannel. And it's by the brand Rough Stock or something like that. I think this is, I don't know, it was more on the pricey, like pricier side because it's really well made and it's just, it's an official like um, plaid flannel and it's just red and it has the little pearl buttons, it doesn't have like the actual buttons where you like button it, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, they're buttons but they're not but buttons if you know what I'm talking about, um, but it's just red and, and it's kind of oversized a little bit, like it goes down to like if I put the sleeves out all the way then it will go down to like here and I can like grab onto the sleeve it's kind of cool I love wrapping this around my waist but also love wearing it with a shirt and pairing it with a white t-shirt especially my I'm a lot cooler on the internet shirt if you didn't see the picture where or the outfit of the day that I did where I was wearing um that outfit then you should go watch that but I've been obsessed with this flannel recently just because it's super light and versatile so yeah, and then I have another, I have a pair of shorts, and these ones are just Cherokee shorts, and the fly is open. That's better. Um, these are just Cherokee shorts, and they were from Target, and they're just like, the thing that I love about them is that they're not too short, as you can tell, they're not very, they're not that short, like, they're not, because you can also like unroll them and make them longer, because they're like school appropriate length, which is really good, so that they're not super long but they're not super short they're kind of just in between and they have like there's no distressing dr distressing which i really like because they're just kind of plain shorts that can go with anything honestly so i ha i've been obsessed with these shorts um next i have a skirt that has been one of my favorites and this is also in my collective haul but you know that's why I bought it. Um, it's just a Forever 21 uh, skater or circle skirt, whatever you want to call it. It's adorable. And can we just take a second to admire this print? Like, just, ugh. It's so, it's so perfect for the springtime and the summertime. Just, just love it. So I've been obsessed with that. And then I have a dance kind of fashion favorite. I recently got some new convertible tights and I am obsessed with them. 
and I just love them. I love wearing them. Um, they're really comfortable, and these are by... I don't know what brand they are, but they're really well made and they're really nice material. They're not too light, they're not too dark, and they're perfect for shows. And they are convertible, which makes them really easy if you have to go somewhere after dance or after your recital. Then you can just slip on some shoes and you don't have to really care about your tights. And these ones are just tan ones, and then I have ones for ballet, and these ones are perfect. They are just um, also convertible convertible because if you like for pre-point sometimes we'll do therapy and stuff so I will need um, convertible tights so that's why um next I have a shirt that I love I'm obsessed with and I got this recently ish but still love it and it is a black kind of muscle tee and it's from H&M and it says divided H&M yeah it's like the divided brand or whatever and it's a muscle tee and it's hang top and it like goes down it goes a little bit lower than your belly button but I only use this for dance I wouldn't use this for like school or something like that and it's not that deep of like it's pretty deep of a sleeve but not super deep um and this is only four dollars and 95 cents so it's a pretty good buy and it says epic weekend on the front and just love this and I've worn it I've worn this a lot so I think that concludes all of my favorites for the month of April so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I think the subscribe button is up here up there somewhere up there somewhere in that general area but make sure you click the subscribe button so you're notified whenever a new video comes out and I will see you guys in my next video bye